Hello guys, and we're here today with another very interesting deck profile. We're here today with some anti-meta trap trick cradle deck. This is like my deck that I always do every so now, <clears throat> every now and then. And I, the reason I'm doing this right now is because I saw um, a anti-meta deck top and get first place at a regionals, I believe. And it, I just like the idea of seeing anti-meta win. Now, of course, his deck was a Banisher of Radiance, Macrocosm of D, Fisher type build, and I really don't like that build, because while it can be extremely annoying, it doesn't get rid of stuff. And this deck is all about getting rid of stuff. If your opponent summons out a monster, you're either going to get it a mobility kill, so it can't do anything, or you're just going to get rid of it completely. And his deck, he just made summoning stuff and getting stuff to the field annoying and that ended up creating so many losses that he would be able to win. Well, this deck is specifically, your opponent summons a monster, you should be getting rid of it in some way or another. So let's just go right in rolling two Dionea and then three Mamilio, and that's it for our Trap Tricks monsters. Dionea will special summon out a Mamilio or herself from the graveyard, and if she is special summoned, then she can reset a trap hole or a whole normal trap card from your graveyard. So that is extremely great, very, very great. And then Mamilio, when normal summoned, will search out a whole normal trap card, which is awesome because it's, she's just like a six trap card. And so if you protect her, she can just be very annoying because she'll just end up attacking your opponent directly. And that can be really awful for your opponent. What she can search out is our bottomless, our trap to trap hole nightmares, and our floodgate trap holes, which we're running three of each, except for the bottomless, of course. And then for the Gradles, we're running one Eagle and then three Alligator. Alligator's the best one because you can use them in combination with Gradle Impact. So he's the most offensive. But Eagle, definitely, I... I wanted to have a fourth one, I wanted to have another one, and Eagle definitely I like better because he's 1500 while Co Cobra is only 1000, so you can attack into a monster and not take as much damage or whatever. And if he's destroyed by a monster effect, then you get to take control of a monster, and so that's very, very great. I really like the Gradles, I feel they're extremely underrated just because they're, they're better than Snatch Steel because Snatch Steel can... Your, your opponent can get the monster back if they destroy Snatch Steel, but if they destroy this card, if they destroy the Gradle monster while it's equipped to their monster, then their monster is destroyed. So there's no getting it back, no getting back whatsoever. And if their monster goes face down, then it's yours completely. It's like there's nothing attached to it. The Gradle is sent to the graveyard and you get to keep that monster completely. And then, alright, for spells, we're running one Regeki, double, triple pot of desires because this deck is all about set five pass and so if you you want to have as many cards as you hand so that way you can draw into as many trap cards triple card of demise and triple duality very very strong just being able to go through your deck so quickly because like even duality i understand we're running a 43 card deck and it's just a one for one but you get a look at the top three cards so really it's like a one out of three kind of so it's more against, like, I wouldn't, I'm not running Upstart, obviously, because Upstart wouldn't be worth it, but Duality, it doesn't give your opponent life, and you get a look through three of your cards, and this deck doesn't smash summon, and you can still use your Gradle monsters, even if you've activated Demise or Duality, which is, which I just think is amazing. I just, because, obviously, they're not a special summon taking out the monster or being equipped to it, but, um, you get a special summon monster, you're like, oh, you have a 101, or you have, like, some really nice monster, such as Ignister. Nope, mine. I, I know I activated card of demise and I'm not allowed to special summon, but you can. So I'm going to take what you special summon. So duality, very, very uh, much enjoy having this card and all this draw power. Definitely makes the deck way more expensive. If I were to take this deck to originals, I would not be playing triple uh, desires because I do not have the money for that. that. This is like 180 and this is $60 right here. So 240 just for these six cards. That That's insane. Uh, one Twin Twister... Popping cards isn't that important in this deck. I mean, Mamilio can pop cards when she's special summoned off of Dionea or whatever. But um, I'm just not afraid of popping stuff too much. I probably should be because, I mean, if I do tag into back row, it can be annoying. But if I can get off an XZ summon, I'll probably be making Utopia the Lightning and then I don't have to worry about my opponent's back row most of the time. And of course, Gradle Impact will pop back row as well. That's kind of what Gradle Impact is for besides searching out our alligators, target a back row, target alligator, pop the back row, then use alligator's effect to equip it to one of your opponent's monsters, and then you get to take that monster. So back row, definitely not a problem. We have the Twin Twister, three of these guys, and then three Mamilio, so you can get through back row pretty easily. And not a lot of decks are playing heavy back row like this deck, so you won't be facing more than three back row at a time. 
now on to the track record. So like I said, we're playing one bottomless triple nightmare and triple floodgate. Why we're playing these guys and not a two like I normally would is they're just they're just great trap cards, honestly. Um, like almost everything, like uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate, Cosmos, anything can be hit with this guy, and this guy hits anything when when it's a monster is summoned. When your opponent summons a monster, so flip summon, special summon, normal summon, XZ summon, synchro, anything, tribute summon, it we can put it face down, and that's very very helpful and I just like that it's a mobility kill it doesn't get rid of it from the field but your opponent can't change that monster's um, battle position so that's very great um, so it just puts it face down and then your opponent pretty much can't use it unless they um, would to, to like tribute it or fusion summon with it so it hits everything there's just so many uses for it and honestly if your opponent's not setting back row because they're like oh if I set back row he's gonna use impact pop it and then take my monster you can put a monster face down and then pop that monster and take their other face up monster. So Floodgate Half Trapple has so many so many uses. Um Torrential just Torrential's just great, of course. Um if you're if if you don't have any monsters and your opponent makes a huge field and like, I'm gonna go for game. Nope, Torrential. Gotta love it. Uh Starlight Road is a must have at three on this deck because Twin Twister and just so many different cards can really poop on this deck. And because I mean if you have five card set and your opponent twin twisters, you go down to three. And they will probably have four cards in their hand. So if it's just a one for one, then they'll have one extra card. If you don't have five cards set, then they will go and you'll put it down to two, to even one card. And you don't want to be in a position where you're facing down four cards and you only have one or two traps. So Starlight Road is very important. Sometimes you don't get it off and it just sits there. But it's not, it's, I'd rather have it and not use it than not have it and need it pretty much. And this also goes into the entire mind game of this deck, which you want to freak your opponent out by having five back row at all times. If you can have five back row, you pretty much should have five back row set, unless you have like a Gradle and you don't want to set something that you can't activate and thus not be able to use your Gradle monsters. Um, so, like, I will set my spell, I'll set Desires, I'll set all of these guys. And so that way it makes it seem like I have more back row than I do. And then it, and if you're playing in real life, then you just need to really mimic and just be a good actor and bluff your opponent very well. But um, Starlight Road is a must-have because it, if you get it off, then it, pretty much any game where I get this off, I win. It seems that way because my opponent just lost two cards, and even if the card they ditched like helps them, like if they ditched like a clown, um, a trick clown, or whatever they're playing, I just summon out a Stardust, so I can negate some more stuff. I still have four to three or four back row, so it can, it can just be so annoying. Uh, Ring of Destruction, one of the best trap codes in the game. Um, same with Compulse, they can be activated whenever and get rid of anything, so they're just so versatile. I really like these guys. Um, just very nice, because there's not a lot of stuff in this deck, besides like the Floodgate trap holes, can get rid of normal summon monsters, and that can be a really big problem for rogue decks, is they have all these outs to special summon monsters, but they don't have an out to the Skullcrobat Joker, or the Farm Girl. Uh, Vandy's Emptiness is just plain simple. <laughs> it's just really good, pretty much. Um, and then here's the Vanity Emptiness version 2 and version 3, pretty much. I really like these guys. I'm only playing them at 1 in um, in the main deck. But I really like them because they get rid of cards on the field. So if your opponent has multiple different attribute monsters, and so will you if you have different attributes or different types, it gets rid of those monsters that your opponent doesn't choose. So it's better than Vanity Emptiness because it prevents them from special summoning out monsters besides the ones that they choose, but it also gets rid of the ones. So imagine if Vanity Emptiness not only prevented your opponent from special summoning, but also said both players we send to the graveyard all monsters that were special summoned. And it sends them to the graveyard. It doesn't destroy them. So th that's just really strong because I mean it's stuff like Dark Destroyer it won't, won't get off his effect. So if they have Dark Destroyer and Slip Rider, they probably choose the Dark Destroyer, but Slip Rider at least want to get off his effect. So that's very, very great. I really like these guys. And then Triple Psalm Strike because it's just such a good trap card. And then uh, Warning. So that is it for the main deck. Again, it's all about set 5 pass and then just poke, 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 poke your game. Um, into the extra deck, I'm not running Instant Fusion. <laughs> I just realized that. Wow, funny me. Um, Stardust Dragon is Stardust Dragon. Just being able to make stuff. Two Utopias, two Utopias. Um, he's just probably one of the better XCs this deck can make, honestly. Just being able to attack over practically anything. 
and just being all modis. I just really like him, so if I can make him twice, I might as well. But honestly, I'm not going to get off a lot of XZ summons unless I steal in a level 4 with a Gradle. So honestly, this extra deck isn't even worth it. So if you don't want to play two Utopias and just want to buy one, not a problem. But pretty much generic stuff. The only stuff that's really important is um, Heartland Draco because of the fact of Floodgate Trap Hole. If you put too many monsters face down, say they go for Pendulum Summon, you can put all face of those, all five of those monsters face down. You can then make Heartland Draco and be like, attack twice directly over two turns and just laugh at your opponent. Uh, and then uh, Diagus Animal, just because it puts stuff back, pretty much. And then just, it's just generic, rank 4 is pretty much, uh, and then Raphalesia, just in case you can make her. And um, Alucard, rank 3s, you can make them with them. And it does help out with the Floodgate Trap holes, just being able to pop your opponent's face down monsters that you put face down. And then for the uh, side deck, so this is against Pendulums, and I guess you could also put this against Monarchs if you're facing that deck. This is for Magi Spectres and Monarchs. And then this is just more of these guys if you're playing like Pendulums or playing any deck that has different attributes or different types. And then this is for Cosmos, Cosmos, um, Blue Eyes, ABC, Burning Abyss, DDDs. So these guys are really good. It doesn't get rid of the monster if they summon out a Blue Eyes alternative dragon or if they summon out a white dragon or whatever. And they can still attack. So just be careful with the floodgates because it will, it will be extremely annoying. And it gives you the advantage, but if you don't have something else to get rid of the monster, it doesn't help at all. So this is a really great card to have if you have a Gradle, because then you can just take your opponent's monsters and use them as beaters. You don't even need the effects. But if you don't have any way to get over their monster, then it can be really annoying, because then they'll just beat you down. So you just got to be careful with the floodgates. They're great, but you can still be attacked. So that's pretty much it for this deck. I really enjoy this deck. In the duels with this deck that you guys will see tomorrow, it will be uh, matches pretty much. So you might see me be facing like the same person twice because I did face the same person twice. So, so that way I can show off the game one. And this deck definitely wants to go first. Like honestly, if you go, if you can choose, go first. Because you want to you have your opponent start and have them face down five, have to look down at five back row. And maybe even another monster. Because like set four, card and demise. No, set four. Yeah, set four, activate card in my so that's your fifth card, draw three, set a Gradle, set another card, hopefully have Starlight Road, and then you're just like, alright, come at me, what you gonna do? I just enjoyed this deck so much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck before, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later, bye.